In this video, I'll be showing you how to create an amazing poster design for any brand. So first and foremost, we create a new document. And we are going to choose a solid color film. So we copy this hex code. And then we paste. We are going to create another solid color. We copy the second hex code. And we paste. With the second layer selected, we, we select the mask and grab a brass tool. We increase the opacity to 100. Set our foreground color to black. We are going to use the right bracket key to increase the brass size. And we clean once. So we grab our move tool. This is before and after. We change the blend mode to multiply. So we are going to create a new layer. So we click the new layer icon. And we are going to grab our brush. We are going to set our foreground color to white. We are going to make the brush smaller by the left bracket key. Control C, you can do that. So we make our brush size smaller. And then we click once. So with the move tool, we are going to change the blend mode to overlay. We're going to reduce the opacity down. This is before and after. So we are going to copy our resource files from a recent work. So first and foremost, we grab the subject, which is the bottom, the sprite bottom. Ctrl C and Ctrl V we paste. So we align it right in the middle. We copy this, we copy the eyes, then we paste Ctrl V. We are going to position that in line with the bottom. Ctrl A and we click the align horizontal, align vertical button. This is before and after. So we are going to grab the test. Ctrl V and we paste. Ctrl C, we copy Ctrl V and we paste. So we press enter to confirm that. So we are going to grab this. Ctrl C, we copy and we paste. We are going to transform Ctrl T and we transform it a bit to make it smaller. First of all, we hide this layer and then we are going to create a curves adjustment layer. This is before and after. We are going to reduce the opacity. We are also going to create an exposure adjustment layer. before and after so we reduce the opacity so we bring this layer back ctrl t and we make it and we right click and distort and do right click and then we distort so we are going to position this this way I'm going to make it smaller. You zoom in and you are going to position it. So we click the check to con check mark to confirm. So let's position it beneath the eye so we can drop the layer. With the layer selected. We are going to apply. We are going to change the blend mode to screen and apply. A levels adjustment layer on to it. First, uh, first of all, we make it smaller. So with the layer selected, we are going to apply a levels adjustment layer. 
you take the slider down this is before and after so with the layer selected we create a max we are going to grab our brush tool we use the left bracket key to reduce the brush size set the foreground to black We use the right to increase the size and we are going to clean this part. So we can move to selected. We are going to copy this shape and paste it right here. We are going to position it so that it's aligned with the bottom. Once it is in line with the bottom, we are going to convert the layer into a smart object. Once it is in line, we select the layer, we right click and convert to a smart object. So we are going to reduce the opacity. With the layer selected, we create a max. we zoom in and grab our pen tool so we are going to be creating a selection so that we can hide anything that is on the bottle in black so first of all we are going to create a selection around the bottle just this way we press ctrl and ctrl enter then we create a selection we select any of the marquee tools we right click and fill with the foreground color which is black okay so anything in black is hidden we are going to take the opacity to 70 we are going to select the pen tool again and create another selection here so you just create you just add a point and then you create a selection from from the top and around it so we zoom out and we are going to create a selection just like this Control enter you create a selection you grab any of the marquee tool you right click and fill with black our foreground color which is black and it is gone Control d you deselect so with our move to selected we are going to select this layer and take the opacity back to 100 This is before and after. So we are going to apply an exposure adjustment layer onto it for shadows and highlight. So we take the slider down for shadows before and after. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab our brush tool. We are going to reduce the opacity and change our foreground color to white. So then we'll start painting some shadows, but first we use the left bracket key to reduce the brush size. We make it smaller so that we can paint. We can increase the brush size a bit. Then we can paint some shadows. So we make the brush size smaller and paint smaller and we are just going to be painting once it's okay then we leave it so this is before and after we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer and we are going to take it way down for highlight so first we clip it onto the layer with the max selected ctrl i to invert we are going to be painting some highlights With the shadow layer selected, we are going to be painting more shadows. Ctrl Z to undo that. So we paint more shadows this way. We 
the highlight layer selector we're going to print some highlights control z to undo so we select the exposure we select the shadows layer and paint more shadows once it's too much you undo or clean it you just do away with that part we are going to add another exposure adjustment layer with the layer clip onto the layer with the exposure layer adjustment layer clip we press ctrl i and we are going to apply some shadows right here so with our foreground set to black we are going to clean it so we are going to change our foreground to white again by pressing x on the keyboard so we can use S to toggle between white and black as the foreground and background color. So we are going to apply another exposure adjustment layer by this one onto the bottom. So we are going to take the slider way down. This is before and after. With the max selected, Control I to invert. We grab a brush tool. Our brush tool reduce the opacity then we set the foreground to white we are going to paint some shadows right here we are going to press b for brush and we're going to be painting some shadows right here this is before and after we are going to take down the opacity this is before and after so with the button selected we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto it this is before and after so with the max selected control i we grab our brush tool so we zoom in and we are going to paint some shadows onto the bottom so we are going to be painting this way We paint some shadows. We take down the, the slider. With our foreground set to black, we are cleaning part of it. This is before and after. So we are taking out the ones that are out of range. And we change the foreground to white again and paint more shadows at the top. We are changing the foreground to black and we'll clean this part. This is before and after. So we copy the eyes layer or image anyway. We are going to press Ctrl Z. We are do that. Okay, first of all, let's convert this layer into a smart object. Ctrl C and we copy. So Ctrl V and we paste. This layer has distorted all the exposure, so we are just going to select the layer with all the exposures. Right click and create a clipping mask. With the layer selected, we are going to transform it. We make it bigger. We make it bigger. We click the check mark to confirm. With the layer selected, we create a max. With the max selected and control I, we invert. We grab our soft and brush. We are going to set our foreground to white. We, we, we reduce the opacity. Set our foreground to white and we are going to paint. We can reduce the fog the opacity a bit. So we we'll change our foreground to black and we are going to clean just a little bit. This is before and after. So with the layer selected, we are going to make a copy control J. 
you are going to clip the layer onto the one onto the other one we delete the mask and we are going to transform it click the check mask function create a mask and control i will invert we are going to grab a soft down brush first of all we set our foreground to white and we are going to paint so we change the foreground to black reduce the opacity and we are going to clean this a bit we are going to make another copy control j we are going to position it click the check mark concept we are going to delete the mask create a clipping mask so we are going to position this click the check mask concept so with the layer selected we create a mask control i to invert we are going to grab a soft down brush increase the opacity a bit and we are going to set our foreground to white so reduce the opacity set our foreground and we are going to paint <laughs> the brightness <laughs> Our foreground to white. We are going to paint solid color. Click OK. We are going to change the blend mode to soft light. With the layer selected, with the mask selected, we press Ctrl I to invert. We select our brush and increase the opacity a bit. We change our foreground to white. And we are going to paint some coldness right here. We are going to change our foreground to black and clean just some parts. So we we'll merge all the layers by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E. So we have all the layers. We convert right click and convert to a smart object. And then we go to filter, camera raw filter. You can just copy my settings or play with it until you like the out outcome. I take down the highlights a bit, shadows down. This is before and after camera raw filter. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next.